Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us here on Crem2 News First at 4. I'm Whitney Ward. We do begin tonight with an update on a brazen kidnapping attempt out of western Washington. A man caught on camera trying to abduct a barista out of a drive through window. It's a crime that is getting attention across the state. Crem2's Mark Hanrahan is joining us here in the studio tonight with more about what happened. Mark? Good afternoon, Whitney. This video getting a ton of attention because the man's actions are just so bold and terrifying. It happened early yesterday morning in Auburn, Washington, as you mentioned. Police there say a man tried abducting a barista at a bikini coffee stand and they shared this video they say which shows the man pulling up to the window just after five o'clock yesterday morning. So take a closer look. The barista is seen handing cash back to the suspect through that window when he suddenly grabs her wrist. He tries to pull her through the drive through window. He also appears to use what looks like a looped zip tie to try to drag the barista out of the window and into his truck as she handed him change. That barista, though, was able to fight off the attacker who dropped his cash onto the ground and then took off in his pickup truck right there. Police say that man did have a unique tattoo on his arm. It read Chevrolet right there, his left forearm. The barista was working alone at the time, which is common. Auburn police say it is possible she was targeted because of that. Usually they're they're, you know, controlling those spots by themselves at early hours in the morning when it's dark outside. Um, but this barista did an awesome job of protecting herself and fighting this person off. The owner of the coffee stand says the barista is shaken up and wants as little attention as possible right now. Currently, detectives are looking into the possibility that this one incident could be something bigger. But there is good news to report. Just after 11 o'clock this morning, police were able to arrest a suspect, saying they received overwhelming support from the community to identify the man. We are still waiting to learn more about his identity. We'll get back to you when we do learn that. Whitney? My goodness. All right, Mark, thank you very much. And taking a look at other top stories tonight, prosecutors now say they have sufficient evidence to prove the death penalty is justified in the case of Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell. Vallow and her husband Chad are both charged with murdering her two children and Daybell's ex-wife back in 2019. Vallow's attorney asked a judge to take the death penalty off the table, her defense saying it would be unconstitutional because they claim she had no involvement in the planning or carrying out of the murder of her two children. A shocking discovery on the Oregon coast, a dead sperm whale washing up on a beach over the weekend. It was a male up, we're told about 20 years old. Scientists believe it was struck by a ship and had been dead for some time before it washed ashore. Marine biologists say this is extremely rare. There have been 189 large whale strandings in Oregon since 1989. Of those, officials say just five have been found to be the result of a ship strike. Spokane Public Schools is expected to take a big step toward protecting students' cars that are parked at Lewis and Clark High School. At tomorrow's meeting, the school board will consider a contract to install security cameras in the parking lot under the freeway. The district is hoping those cameras will deter break-ins. That's because students and staff say they have experienced that almost every day. At the end of last school year, the principal started working with the Washington Department of Transportation to try and find a solution. That's because the school leases that lot and standing alone or standalone security camera stations are now on the agenda for the school board's approval. I want to just see it completely stop to where again none of our students and none of our staffs or visitors are worrying about or dealing with vehicle prowlers or their cars being vandalized or broken into. The school board agenda says it'll cost more than $322,000 to implement the use of those security cameras. The board will discuss approving that contract tomorrow night. Make sure and join us tonight, though, at 5 here on Crem2 to find out how a single camera already installed there is making a big difference. For the next two weeks, Spokanimal will not be accepting any dogs after a contagious virus outbreak. A week ago, a stray dog was brought into the shelter, and after it got sick, the dog tested positive for the Parvo virus. The shelter is now under a quarantine for the next 14 days. That's to make sure no other dogs have been infected. Spokanimal did share they are thankful for those rescuing dogs, but they are no longer able to provide them shelter for now at that location. They are offering to provide any other services as they can in the meantime. Hundreds of trees are being cut down at the Downriver Golf Course in Spokane. Creme 2's Shannon Mowdy was at the golf course this afternoon to explain why this mass removal of trees was necessary. 
Crews are in the last stages of cleaning up a massive tree removal here at Downriver Golf Course. 200 trees just on the course have been cut down. So what have our experts been telling us? This has been a, a, a risk that they're seeing an increase in this type of infestation to pine trees just in eastern Washington. There is a pesky little problem behind all of this that you should watch out for on your property. How Parks and Recreation is responding to the invasion and what it means for more parks across the city and in your own backyard. That's coming up tonight on Krem2 News at 5. Something else I noticed in that video there behind Shannon is the snow is doing a lot of melting. Let's talk weather now. It was very gray and dry out there. Our chief meteorologist Jeremy Lagoo joining us right now on this Tuesday. But Jeremy, we've actually seen quite a bit of melting, haven't we? Yeah, and Whitney, you know, I was trying to explain this to someone a little earlier, so stick with me here for a second. Okay. Right now we have the low sun angle in the short days. I often talk about that. Mm -hmm. If we melt a lot of this snow and ice right now, as we get into February and March, what falls doesn't compact as much. It doesn't have the months of compacting possibility. Okay. And because our sun angle is a bit higher, that snow will actually wind up melting a lot faster. So we're really not looking at the potential for snow sticking around on the ground for prolonged periods of time. Interesting. Doesn't, doesn't mean we're done with snow, though. Okay. Not by any means. I can handle it. Yeah. It's mid-January. We got to keep that in mind, but sun angle and daylight length or the amount of daylight we get each day plays a huge role in what that snow does. And right now you can see you're hard pressed to find any snow there in downtown. Kind of incredible. All right. Temperatures currently sitting above freezing. So the snow melt continues 35 in Spokane, 36 in Coeur d'Alene. Tonight we fall back down near freezing and that's as yet another round of moisture moves in. We're already starting to see some showers develop over on the west side. Those will move their way over to us. That kind of works its way through. Every forecast model has this arriving a bit differently. This is our high resolution model. It kind of puts it here in the middle of the day. It puts a lot of snow north of Highway 2 and then rain along Interstate 90, rain in Spokane, and then a bit of a wintry mix on the South Hill and up near the Y. You head into Idaho, it's more widespread snow. That snow continues. Our best shot at getting it actually winds up being Wednesday night after the sun goes down. Then it moves out and by Thursday, we are much drier across the region. What does that mean for us? I think it means kind of rain, snow, and mild temps. Wednesday winds up warm, but as that snow develops, we'll see temperatures drop. We'll talk possible accumulations coming up.